What's up YouTube, it's Louis here. Hope you're all well. Today we're looking at HBAR on the daily time frame. As you can see, we've uh, closed above this uh, trend line over here. So it's a signal we're coming up into the 20. And it looks like uh, if we can actually break through the 382, which is lining up with the, the, the 20 EMA, if we're seeing a daily close above this with a lot of momentum, then we're going to expect this impulse up, back up to this golden pocket. But remember, I'm believing that any push is going to eventually result in a bull trap and we continue lower. You can find support here and try again with a double bottom, but the most likely scenario or the expected scenario, we should say, is a continuation down because we've had this push. We're exhausting, accumulating to go back up, back into the EMAs, back into the golden pocket, the most retraceable zone out of the fibs. So you measure a push, it shows you the most retraceable zone. It does not have to go there, remember. Right now we're at the 382. If we continuously close below this, as we're seeing right now, you can see daily closes below, multiple rejections in this area. If we zoom in now to the four hour, we can look at this area, it's this uh, line over here. I'll just put a line quickly. So you can see we had a head and shoulders, shoulder, shoulder, and a head. So the head is usually a fake out. So the true resistance is here around 4.9, oh, sorry, uh, 497 cents. Let me get rid of this, go back to the daily. That's that. Um, here we go. So the 382 over here, 498, my apologies, where the 20 uh, daily EMA is. If we're consistently closing below, we haven't touched it yet. So if we're going to continue today until this price, if we're going to touch the 20 EMA today, what I am anticipating is actually a close below. So that would be a signal to actually continue back uh, back down, but we have some areas of uh, daily closes in this area. So if we were to go up and get rejected and close, this is where we'd need to find support if you want to go up and continue to the golden pocket. Otherwise it's back down to the 236 down here. And this is where we need to find support. I'm gonna make this uh, green box a little bit bigger. Uh, where is it? Here we go. There we go. I'll drag it up to the 236 and down to the, the zero fib over here. Perfect. So yeah, we'll, that's where we need to, to, to hold. So essentially we've got the body candle closes here as resistance. We've obviously seen on the four hour that we're rejecting this green line. We've almost got a bullish cross forming on the four hour ever since breaking this trend line over here. So you can see we used it as resistance, came back down. Remember yesterday we were talking about how if this closed as a spinning top, we're going to expect this continuation up where we got that. So if you took that trade from yesterday's video, uh, well done. Uh, but the next key resistance is this green line. Let's zoom out to the daily. There you go, the 382 fib. And remember, sorry, and remember, if we're not closing above this, which at the moment I'm expecting a push into it, right? But a close below. So that would mean that it's still resistance. We should go lower. That is the signal, but we can find support in this area over here after coming back down. And if so, that's our chance to attack the 382. Of course, it can get rejected again, M pattern. But if we manage to get through, you'd be reclaiming the 20. This would flip uh, H bar bullish on the daily time frame, at least in the very short term. You know that, okay, in the next coming days, at least we're going to be going up. Okay, getting back above the 20, we can expect a few days to a week of going up, up into this zone, where unfortunately the 55 daily EMA is, and as long as you're below this, you're still going to be kept in a downtrend. It should push you back under the 20, under the 20, confirm it as resistance and continue lower, lower than this low. It will still act as support, so we will get a bounce at first, but again, this will be key resistance, the 382, the 236, once we get down here. So yeah, move by move, I'll be able to, of course, go through this all with you. But for the moment, at least for today, that's where I'm expecting us to head to. If you've enjoyed this video so far, do please smash the like button. I try to keep you guys as well informed as possible. If you want me to teach you this, how to you know, uh, recognize all of this completely by yourself, I have a course that will teach you from zero knowledge. It's all available over on my Twitter, just private message me there. It's currently heavily discounted at the moment, over 50% off. If you wanna take action on either the course or the mentorship, just head over to my Twitter. There's a link down below. Otherwise, it's Louis underscore crypto. Check out the channel members ships too if you want to send in a super thanks that's really appreciated as well okay so again if we're closing above the 382 we've got this potential double bottom over here 
you can see the neckline is already here. Again, this is a support that if we close above, that's, that's, that's positive, it should be support. And that's why I'm saying if we'd close below the 20, this will act as support all the way down to that wick. So we'd want to uh, essentially hold that to try again. I don't think we'll break above it today, guys, to be honest. But if it were to break above this 20 EMA today, we'd need to see a big green candle, a big uh, push. But what I've been seeing over on the Bitcoin uh, uh, chart, and I do urge you all every single day to check out those Bitcoin videos. It's so important. I'm seeing on the weekly time frame. I'm going to check on um, HBAR as well. Yeah, we're seeing it as well. Uh, there's a doji over here. On HBAR, it doesn't look too much like a doji. It looks more like a shooting star. But on, on Bitcoin, there's equal lengths uh, of the wicks. And that's a doji at support because it's not losing this area of support. So this is usually a sign of indecision and when it's in at support it's a sign of a reversal sometimes but again any reversal uh, that comes up into the golden pocket we're expecting a rejection a continuation lower as we haven't met this shoulder head and shoulder patterns target down here at four cents nice psychological level as well as down here at 3.1 all the way down to two two and a half to three point one cent that's a specific target out of the head and shoulder, uh, sorry, out of the descending triangle here. But yeah, we do have a, a key support over here from the monthly time frame where we've seen these monthly closes. So yeah, that would be a key support. Um, yeah, you can bounce from there, but potentially just back to there to continue lower into here. It's all step by step, guys. You can invalidate that all along the way. So that's why I keep always saying it is step by step. And I will be here along the way uh, for any invalidation. So for example, if you want to invalidate all of these bearish targets, what we'd need to do is essentially break through the golden pocket. It's not what should happen because remember, this was the capitulation. We're reaccumulating as the exhaustion phase, refueling the rockets before continuing the trend. The big impulse was down, guys. So it should be struggling to go up. Do you understand that? So that's why I'm, I am expecting a failure or a bull trap, a failure in the bounce. Well, it will bounce, but eventual failure. What we, what we need to see is a reclaim of this uh, lower red box over here. So to get above the golden pocket, but you can see the 786 is almost exactly in line with our load, which we were saying, as long as we're above this and this, well, obviously before this was set, it was just this. As long as we're above this, we'll remain bullish. When this came, uh, we quickly reclaimed. I said, now this is the new level, but let's just focus on this. This, yeah, this is essentially our new support over here. So as long as we remain above this, we, we're not gonna go down. We started to almost see a bullish cross. We saw it uh, on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and a lot of other alts as well. Quant, uh, Quant XRP, but uh, but and V Chain, but unfortunately, for H bar, it never never came, and that's called an EMA repel. And when that happens, you get a slingshot motion down. So that's our trend, guys. We got the lower low. We should expect any pump to be a lower high to continue lower. If you somehow actually get above this and actually get above the 786 as well, which would be reclaiming this low, it's got good chances of heading back up. You would have a target all the way back up to the highs but yeah from there uh, be, even before getting there there's some key resistance here on the right shoulder left shoulder head right shoulder so there's key resistance there uh, the gold box is there because I, i've been saying that for me to be so certain we're going to at least head back to the high i want to see a close above that because you could just pump into all the way up to there and still come all the way back down without reaching here. So a close above that would signal we're going to try and take out eight to nine cent. But again, we've got a one, six, one, eight target. If we somehow manage to flip this into support and this seven, eight, six into support, it's a signal we're going to have an impulse towards here and here. That would be a target between here and here. So when you meet your target, you usually have a big retracement. You, we would need to pray that once you're up somewhere between here, you come down and hold this support again. Otherwise, the most likely scenario is continuation lower like that. And you could be having some sort of double top. And this is your neckline. Big descending, even bigger descending triangle. But again, all step by step, guys. These are just the potential scenarios. I'm getting you ready so that if we, if we do ever see it flipped into support, we know the journey you need to take uh, to go higher. And of course, if we never close it above the 382, expect a continuation lower. In the short term, let's hold the 236 if we fail, because that'll give us chances to climb back up to attack this. But from here, I'm expecting lower. So we'll look for daily closes around here 
or around here. We're going to get a rejection here today. So yeah, we'll analyze tomorrow. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let's try and get 100 likes. Check out those channel memberships. Uh, if you want to send in a super thanks, also do so. But yeah, main thing, like, subscribe and comment. Please follow my Twitter and tune into those Bitcoin updates. It's so important. Remember, there's a free giveaway at the moment for a course that teaches you from zero knowledge. Just if you want to enter, follow my Twitter, uh, subscribe over here and like and retweet that post and comment once you've done all those steps. And yeah, the, the winner will be this week. At the end of the week, I'll reveal the winner. I think we have over 40 entrants at the moment. So great. Thank you guys for um, tuning in today. If you want to uh, take action on the course or the mentorship, they are heavily discounted at the moment, the course being 50% off. Uh, thank you guys so much. Like, subscribe and comment. And as always, peace.